All right, Shalom. This is the brother Nahalia from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah. And a sincere salutation to all Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word, in all truth and in sincerity. Yahweh is the name of the one they ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the one they ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashim is in the name. Rakah is spirit. Kodash is holy. Akyam is brothers. Akwath is sisters. Shalawan means peace, and Yasha Allah is Israel in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. This is Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. And it reads Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, and I want to go into a lesson through the Spirit. All right, uh, going into World War III. All right, WW3. All right, when you read Revelation 11 chapter in the 14th verse, the second woe is past. That's going into the world wars. All right, so we had one world war or one world woe. Then we had a second world war, woe, all right? And now we're about to have a third world woe, which is a third world's war, all right? And what you see is the line being drawn in the sand, all right? And everyone picking the side, all right? Now, this lesson is inspired by this article, and it says, Putin says Russia's relations with China reaching new frontiers. All right, it says, Moscow, Reuters, President Vladimir Putin said on Wednesday that China's Xi Jinping would visit Russia, saying relations had reached new frontiers amid U.S. concerns that Beijing could provide material support to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. All right. Now, we all know all right, that the West is supplying Ukraine with weapons, all right, intelligence and everything that they need to fight this war. All right. And this is the hypocrisy of the West that they can fund and help Ukraine, but nobody can help Russia. All right. Nevertheless, sides are being drawn. All right. Sides are being picked. The line is being drawn. And Xi Jinping visiting Russia is a statement. OK, whenever these leaders visit a place, it's a statement in itself without even knowing what the subject matter of the meeting is. The fact that they're meeting and they're being seen together is a statement when you deal with world powers. Now, continue when it says Chinese weapons supplies to Russia would threaten a potential escalation of the Ukraine war into a confrontation between Russia and China on the one side and Ukraine and the U.S.-led NATO military alliance on the other. And that's exactly what we're leading into. All right. According to prophecy, war, war is going to happen. All right. And this is why in Joel, the third chapter and the ninth verse, if we read it in the NLT, it says, say to the nations far and wide, get ready for war. Call out your best warriors. Let all your fighting men advance for the attack. Hammer your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Train even your weaklings to be warriors. And that's exactly what you have happening. All right. When you deal with the escalation of Ukraine. All right. What you see is that the U.S. continues to to supply more advanced weapons to Ukraine. All right. Without the support of U.S. slash NATO, Ukraine wouldn't stand a chance against Russia. All right. You see a lot of media push about how well the Ukrainians are doing, all right? But they wouldn't do as well, and they're not really doing that well, but they wouldn't do as well without the support of the West, all right? Nevertheless, all right, lines are being drawn in the sand and sides are being picked, all right? Now, continuing in this article, it says this, Putin welcomed China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, to the Kremlin, telling him that bilateral trade was better than expected and could soon reach 200 billion a year, up from 185 billion in 2022. Now, keep in mind, this is amid all the sanctions, all of the uh, the scrutiny that Russia is suffering. Yet and still, they have they have they have allegiances, they have alliances. On one end, you have Russia. On the other end, you have Putin. All right, all right, Salakia. On one end, you have America and on the other end you have Putin. All right, and what you see is a continual escalation of this war. All right, 
Now, continuing, it says this. We wait a visit of the president of the People's Republic of China to Russia. We have agreed on this, Putin told Wang. Everything is progressing, developing. We are reaching new frontiers, Putin said. Now, this is in spite of the Pentagon. Because when you go into an article, real quick, I want to go into this article before I continue. And Lord willing, I'll put these in the description. But basically, the Russian, uh, the Americans threatened China over this cooperation with, uh, with uh, Russia. All right, here we go. It says, Pentagon, China will face consequences if it provides lethal aid to Russia. All right, it says the Defense Department on Wednesday warned China against providing lethal aid to Russia, echoing similar cautionary statements from Secretary of State Antony Blinken and other U.S. officials as concerns mount that Beijing will support Moscow's war in Ukraine with weapons and munitions. And basically what they're doing is they're they're doing business. All right. They're they're doing business. The same as the U.S. All right. They do business with their allies. China's doing business with it, with its allies. But we know, according to prophecy, all right, the mounting up of warriors and allegiances is going to equal up to conflict. All right. This is why the scriptures talk about preparing war. And what you've seen in the, in the last five years, at least, is an escalation in war drills an escalation in cooperation against the West. All right. If you deal with India well, I wouldn't say India because India is really on the fence. But uh, Russia, Iran, China are the main players that continue to do drills on the opposite end of the West. North Korea, you can throw them in the pot as well. All right, and we know, according to the scriptures, that um, Russia is going to be a guard unto these other nations. All right, real quick, let's go to that. This is Ezekiel chapter 38, and I'm going to start at 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togomar of the north quarters and all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. All right. And that's exactly what's happening. You have this separation between Babylon the Great, which is America and its allies. And you have Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, which is Russia. Now, biblically, those lands belong to Japheth. But because those Edomites abide in that land, the Lord's referring to the land name, the original land name. But it's actually referring to the Russians that occupy that space in this day and age. All right. If you can receive it. So that area that Russia occupies originally belongs to the Japhites. But because they were pushed out of that land, it now is occupied by Edomites who call themselves Russian. So really, this is an Edomite on Edomite battle. All right. Even though it looks like different nations are fighting against each other. It's Edomites on both sides and other nations are siding with either side of the Edomites. All right. This is why the scriptures say this. Matthew 12. And 25 and Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom Stand. All right. And through the spirit and power of Yah by Shemal Shah, we understand that it won't stand. And we're going to be led into World War Three. The world is going to be led into World War Three. All right. And this when you look at it, it's two Edomite nations fighting against each other with other nations being co-stars in the in the conflict. All right. So when we go back to this. 
the Pentagon is threatening China. All right. But China's already picked a side. All right. They've picked the Russians. And that's very obvious at this point. Now, continuing, I'll read a few more paragraphs. It said Pentagon Deputy Press Secretary Sabrina Singh told reporters at a press briefing that China will face consequences if it provides lethal assistance. There will certainly be consequences for China should they deepen their relationship with Russia, Singh said. We haven't seen them give lethal aid to Russia at this time for the war, but they also haven't taken that off the table. Singh declined to comment on what those consequences would look like. So basically, these are threats. Over the weekend, Blinken said China has provided non-lethal aid to Russia and was considering the option of sending lethal aid, adding that he warned his Chinese counterpart on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference in Germany against the move. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas Greenfield on Sunday also said that the U.S. has warned China of consequences if the nation supplies any lethal assistance to Russia. All right. So you see that they're threatening the Chinese, which are well within their right to do business with Russia. All right. This is the hypocrisy of Esau Edom. All right. The so-called white man, especially in the West. All right. Now, I want to continue in the article that we first touched. All right. Because nevertheless, all right. The relationship between China and Russia is deepening. All right. Now, I want to go back to the article if I can find it through the spirit. All right. Here we go. So continuing, it says this. Wang told Putin that relations between the two countries had withstood the pressure from a volatile international situation and that crisis offered certain opportunities. The relationship between China and Russia, Wang said, through an interpreter, was not directed against any third party, but equally would not succumb to pressure from third parties. A clear jab at the United States. So basically, China is saying that you can't tell us what to do. You know, like we're not basically he said in a diplomatic way. We're not doing this against you. But at the same time, you're not going to stop us from doing business and doing what we want to do as a nation of people. And ultimately, this is why the Lord said prepare war. All right, because ultimately the Lord is w working on the minds of these kings to carry about his will. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. All right, and that's exactly what the Lord is doing. He's turning the hearts of these kings. Because what you notice is that the war is escalating. The weapons are getting more deadly. More men are being brought to the fight. And it's only going to escalate. Right now, it's a proxy war. The U.S. is investing in Ukraine to fight a war that they're hoping to avoid. But they won't avoid this, according to prophecy. If you can receive it, eventually this is going to escalate. And the empty threats that the U.S. is making, they're going to have to make good on those threats because it's obvious that China is still going to do business. And they may even supply lethal aid, which will make them, which will put them in a pot uh, along with Iran who have also helped Russia in this fight against Ukraine. All right. So I just want to touch these subjects because, again, these are small little nuggets, if you will, that lead to major prophecy. All right. And I just want to touch these things through the spirit because that's the the, the escalation right now. Sides are being picked. Lines are being drawn. Threats are being made. But eventually this is going to escalate. All right. So Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and a sincere salutation to all Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.